I've had the privilege of traveling to cultures and countries all over the world and meeting thousands upon thousands of people from every culture. And I'm convinced one of the greatest problems today in every culture is the way men and women perceive themselves. Because of the poor image they have of themselves, it's affecting every relationship you have. You see, if you cannot accept yourself the way you are, then how can you trust someone else to accept you the way you are? You can't. And I believe that most relationships are based upon a facade, what people want others to think of them, not who they really are on the inside. You know, this was observed years ago by a philosopher, St. Augustine. In fact, it was in 399 AD, and yet his statement is as relevant today as it was then. When St. Augustine said, people travel to wonder at the heights of mountains at the huge waves of the sea, at the long courses of rivers, at the vast compass of the ocean, at the circular motion of the stars. And yet they pass by themselves without wondering. Oh, that is so true today. We talk of the marvelous mountains and the rivers and the jungles and the beaches and all in the most beautiful terms. But when we look at ourselves, it becomes a different perspective. Natasha Kinski is rated by many people the most beautiful woman in the world, and she's one of my favorite actresses. Her only and close friend in Hollywood, she said, is Jodie Foster, the award-winning actress. And Jodie Foster said this about Natasha. Said she is one of the prettiest girls in the world, but she thinks she's incredibly ugly. She considers herself grotesque. She can't trust anyone who says... I love you. And then Jody went on to say, it's like Natasha says, God, if you love me, you must really be a jerk. You see, because Natasha could not accept herself the way she was and the way she is, she cannot trust others to accept her. And it affects every single relationship you have. In a number of these segments, we're going to look at how can you have a healthy self-image and how should you look at yourself in a truthful way.